Good evening, YouTube. What up, what up? It's your boy, Old School Coffinetti. Um, we're ready to get started, man. I'm going to talk about this topic, you know. I know I've been going in on a bunch of different things, but it's uh, things that I feel that I want to share with the public, and I think that the people who don't know need to know it, man. You know, some people might be might need to hear it, the advice that I give. You know what I mean? And I'm proud of what I do, and I like what I do. Um, I don't have a million followers or viewers yet, but I might one day because you know what? I believe in myself. So this your boy, Old School Carpenetti. We're going to elaborate on the topic of triggers, being triggered, triggering, being triggered while you're under the influence of alcohol and drugs, mind altering substances, being triggered and being influenced to make a wrong decision by the wrong people. You're supposed to be your so-called friends homegirls and people you roll dogs but they trigger you and they influence you to do make a bad decision and when you under the influence of alcohol or drugs how you might make that wrong hasty decision and react instead of thinking about it because of the influence and the triggers around you right so you know uh responding not knowing how to cope or respond to certain triggers could be detrimental to your life man it could be disastrous bro you know it could be disastrous for you male or female you know what i'm saying like it could be bad it really could be you know um you know you, you know i just wanted to share this man because i thought about it today and i had to write it down because i was like you know what it makes so much sense because when something bothered me or got under my skin, hurt your feelings. Something bothers you, man. You know, people might, you don't give a damn what it is. An ex is with somebody new and everybody knew that person with you and they pull up to the same place you at, same club. Or it's a bunch of different situations. Somebody you used to have beef with, you know, you used to go and might have smoke. You might have had smoke with this person. Now you see him. And for my niggas in the streets, somehow you might you might have you might have you might have banked, you might have jumped this dude with some niggas a while ago. You might have shot at him, you might have robbed him. And now you you facing him in a in a different scenario and environment, right? And and, and you might have changed your thought present pattern and how you move and how you look at life and things now. You might have changed, but that shit you did in the past is still there. So this triggering situation pop up out of nowhere. Boom. That's when they say, you know, like, the past creep up and haunt you, right? Let me spark my cigar so we can keep on talking. Because I'm sharing this, some knowledge with y'all, man. I hope I can get to somebody. A lot of people know this already and a lot of people don't. So I'm doing what I do. I'm preaching. Ghetto gospel. Yeah, man, so... You know, if you ever been in a situation where you saw somebody you had beef with, or you seen them in the store, or you just out by yourself, and you know, and especially you know, especially these these people they're supposed to be so gangster, right? And but when they be by themselves, they be on their best behavior. They be on their best behavior. You know, some people, and then this is the thing too, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, man, with the people that you associate with. See, some of these people that you deal with, you know, you think they're your, your riders, you think they're your day ones, you think they, no, no, you got, always got secret enemies, man, and, and then baby and them put it the best, you know, envy, you know what I'm saying, is dangerous, you know what I'm saying, because a hater, like they said, is a mile away, a motherfucker that envy you is right next to you, they want to benefit from you, but they don't like you, they hate you, they want everything that you got going on, right? But we we can go on to that, and that's a whole other topic. But these triggers, being triggered. That's what we're going to talk about, these triggers, right? So, being triggered, man, you know, 
is dangerous, man. Because they say your situation, man, baby mama. You know, and as a man, I don't give a damn how tough you is and how gangster you know, pimped out you is. You know, if it's your bottom, bitch, excuse my language, or you, you know, it's, 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 it's somebody you got feelings for, right? And, and, and niggas can act tough, females can act tough all they want. It's somebody in your life you got feelings for. And when they drop your ass like a bad habit or betray you, that shit sting, that shit hurt. Some of us finally get a dose of our own medicine, right? Because what you put out in the, in the universe come back. That's that karma. You know what I mean? But so you see somebody in the club, at the mall, at a restaurant that you dealing with. They with somebody else. The breakup or whatever is fresh. It be triggering. A lot of shit happens, man. A lot of people was in jail. A lot of people was in dead because of a trigger. Like this feeling, this emotion got triggered. And you was under the influence of alcohol or drugs and or the wrong people. The so-called friends that they, yeah, go get that nigga, man. You gonna let that nigga handle you like that? You let him talk to your bitch, you gonna blah 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 blah. Boosting you up to go crash. Now you sitting in jail or six feet deep because you let something trigger you didn't know how to deal with that trigger. And you let so-called friends influence you to make a, a life-changing uh, decision because you didn't think about it, right? You know, because you were so angry and in the moment and triggered, you didn't just react it. You know, and, and knowing and recognizing these triggers and knowing how to deal with them, because some of them, you know, you know, even if you got some kind of self-discipline and control and dignity, right? You see some situations just to, you want to take it there. And it take a lot to turn the other cheek, walk away, and don't care what a nigga say. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that's what real, that's what you becoming a real man. Now, you know, as long as you don't come up in my space, put your hands on me or threaten me in intimate danger, we won't have no problems. You can say what you want to say. You can talk all that shit you want. And until you come up in this space right here, you know what I'm saying? It ain't my problem. You over there, chip, jap, yap, yapping, social media talking, all that bullshit. That shit is weak. You know what I'm saying? So we don't let real, real, real grown men, real G's don't let talk bother us. Other people's opinion don't bother me. I used to be immature like that. Worry about what a nigga say. Letting what a nigga say bother me. You know what I'm saying? Worrying about what people think. You know what I mean? Excuse my French, but fuck these people out here, man. These people don't give a fuck whether you're doing good or you're doing bad. And, oh, and, um, yeah, so, damn. Some disturbing stuff, our information I just got. But anyway, you know, uh, and you react to that shit, man. You can't let these people get in your head. They get in control of your mind. Then that's when you get triggered, and now they in control because they you react to that to that bullshit that triggered you. And now we're gonna talk. You know, and talking about the triggers being triggered. You know, and you get in a situation like that, you in the, in the wrong environment, in the wrong mindset, you in the club, you drinking, and you embarrassed, you in front of people, so you just react. Now you done made a decision to put you in jail, you done lost your job or whatever you got, your family and all that shit you let, is in, in jeopardy because you let somebody get under your skin or something in your life trigger you to the point where you make a, a, a stupid decision. And then you're going to be sitting in jail or, or, or and you're it, sitting looking stupid, wishing you would have never did that, especially when you sober up. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, man, triggers. It's all kind of triggers out here, man. You know, and when you grow and as you learn and from experience, and when you get your priorities and mindset right, you know what I'm saying. If certain things won't bother you as much as they used to, and it's easy to say because. Situations happen, man. Life is life, and you you are an emotional 
human being. I don't give a damn how tough these people say they are. Everybody emotional, right? And they handle that shit in different ways, man. You know, some emotional little niggas out here and some emotional little bitches out here. You know, excuse my French. I'm just keeping it real. You know what I mean? That that just that is emotional and let and worry about what people think and other people's opinion and you react to that shit. And then you put yourself in them own you them compromising situations. So pay attention to yourself, man. You no. Know, learn about them things that trigger you, them people. That trigger you, them situations. Take a look at your surroundings. Take a look at your environment. Take a look at the things that that, that you are uh, involved in. Take a real close look at it and see why does it trigger you. If it triggers you that bad, you do not need to be around it. Don't need to be in your life. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all, it's your boy, Old School Car Fanatic. It's Memorial Day weekend. I'm waiting on the 2010 Merc, dog. Waiting on the Merc Dog, man. I'm about to get back with these cars, man. I uh, I hooked up the set in the Buick today. Got that ready for the second amp, man. You know, we just getting started with some things, man. You know, I know I keep talking about it, but hey, I ain't got all the viewers and the followers yet, you know, and, and, and money money funny, but it's coming. It's getting better. You know, my priorities it come before my, my wants nowadays. So, but anyway, I am going to tell y'all enjoy y'all weekend. And I hope you enjoyed this big video on triggers. Please go hit that like and subscribe. It's your boy, Old School Car Fanatic. Peace.